I was actually raised atheist, so I was not raised in the church. But in the end, to me, I have to meet my maker someday, and I, I have to account for the choices I made, and this is what I believe is right. For me, it was finding a more true fulfillment of what my real call was. I think my entire life I've been called to a particular kind of work, and it just felt like going into a church, I suddenly found the community that I never had before. I initially went to a church where I didn't stay, and they, they sounded really good at first, and I really wanted to believe in God. I just couldn't believe in their God. Um, so I actually uh, ended up going into a Presbyterian church, and I actually felt they, I think the second week I was there, they had a, a community dinner, and I felt more a part of that community than I did the church I'd been attending for six months to a year before that, the other church. I just, I, I don't know, I just clicked, it was right. It just worked. My best friend is a gay male, and uh, we met in college when we were both were single adults, and now we're both married with husbands. And going through the journey with him has been just the most amazing and the most heart-wrenching experience to see what he has to go through and he and his husband have to have to experience and it just I don't know at times it's almost appalling to me that for $35 and a marriage certificate I get all these rights and he doesn't and for the cost of my wedding ring they spent getting legal rights and they still don't have anything anywhere near what I did with $35 I gotta say some of the most faithful couples I've seen that are strongly committed to each other tend to be gay and lesbian. Maybe it's because of all the, the fighting that they have to go through with society to affirm their relationship, but for me, just when I think of what a loving, committed relationship is, I think of my best friend and his husband who have been together for so long and they're still fighting for what I was just handed. And so, I don't know if it's really affirming my faith, but it's giving me a model that fits into my model of what faith is and what covenant is and what a covenant with God is to see a loving covenant between two same-gendered individuals.